Julian here with MPTV, and we're taking this to the streets today to talk about the government's recent uh, announcement to spend $1 million on a public opinion poll about how to reform the uh, House of Commons to make it work better for the people of Canada. We have to have an elected Senate, definitely. I think Stephen Harper's on the right track, and uh, if that is uh, accomplished, we're on the right track. Probably be a great idea. I wish it was that easy. How do you think it needs to be done? Another election. And what, what about electoral reform? You know, proportional representation or elected Senate? What do you think about those issues? Elected Senate would probably be best, yeah. That would be a great idea. Oh, not very good to answer that one. Um, get rid of the uh, appointed Senate, I think. Yep. What would you like to see in the place of a, an appointed Senate? Uh, somehow it's more uh, democratic. I think it's all uh, patronage. Everybody gets in there because of the party. Well, bring the natives. Native people, yeah. Yeah, native people. How the government government needs to reform to be better Canadians? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? I don't really know. Like, what do you think about electing senators as opposed to having them uh, appointed by the prime minister? I think it's better because people are, you know, can speak what they what they think about it. They're voting. They're putting their opinion. So I don't know. Well, first of all, there needs to be an election. Uh, after that's over, uh, then uh, you, you mean like uh, what, what sure. sort of like reforming the electoral system? Uh, what about elected senators? They're talking about making them elected now. Well. Yeah, there certainly needs to be some modification to the rules, uh, especially of those who are made senators. It should be an elected Senate. Uh, but uh, aside from that, there, I'm not really sure. Like, There's, there's uh, quite a few things that could be done that, that could be used to reform Parliament. Uh, maybe draw out the lines so there's not so many seats in the GTA and have more representation across the country instead of the election being over if Ontario and Quebec vote, that, that kind of thing, so. I, I believe in that. Uh, you don't hear enough about what the Senate does for people in this country, uh, especially the people in the North or uh, the, uh, the poor people of this nation, but also they should allow the Green Party now to, uh, in the uh, debates and to have a bit more, uh, I guess, room to move when it comes to the election and basically representing themselves because obviously the environment's a major issue now. I've never seen a winter like this before, and I'm sure no one else has, so that's a major issue. And I guess the Conservatives now realize that that is a hot-button issue, so they've sort of jumped on the bandwagon and tried to create a bit of hype themselves, but really, it's all smoke and mirrors with them. So I think they should allow other parties in, uh, to have more to say, especially the ones that uh, are relevant to today's uh, politics, pretty much. Break down voting by party on everything. That's my one answer. Okay, that's, that's it. What about Senate reform? Oh, I'd like to see a reform Senate, but it has to be done within the Constitution, um, and that's going to be a long process.